Scarlet Blaze. Bridge of Betrayal. The Empire achieves early success in the war thanks to House Gloucester, a noble alliance house whose vows of allegiance and safe passage were key to the quick capture of Garrig Mach. But Count Gloucester breaks his oath and turns on Burglies' troops, trapped in hostile territory with their supply routes severed. The Imperial Army's outlook appears bleak. I fear I may have miscalculated, my son. How can that be possible, Father? We have the enemy surrounded. Yes, and they have yet to give a damn. Time grows short, and soon Edelgard's reinforcements will descend upon the Alliance. Then we will hold them off at the Great Bridge. And they will find another way. If they manage to take even one of the Aramid River's crossings, they can break through our ranks. And while that may not spell immediate defeat, it will dash any hopes of Count Burglies' surrender. Eventually, Edelgard's army will wash over the land, and then, my son, we will be defeated. Speak plain, Father. I beg of you. What does this mean for House Gloucester? Do not fret, Lawrence. This was a leap of faith we had to take to better our territory's fortunes. When Claude came to me with this offer, I determined the reward to be worth the risk. If the gamut fails, so be it. All it means is that our house will have to swear allegiance to the Empire. Edelgard will never settle for such. She will demand... Oh, Father. No. I am proud of you, my son. You have grown into a man strong and wise enough to lead our house. Is there nothing that can be done? What of your dream to claim the Alliance leadership from House Regan? It is your house now. You determine our path. Besides, when the dust finally settles from this war, there may not be an alliance to lead. So I am to submit to the Empire and carve out as big a place for our family as I can? Is that it? You would have me put an end to the Leicester Alliance? Perhaps my praise of your wisdom was ill-advised. <laughs> How dare you, you care for your friends. Yourself, we bend the knee only if we lose, not before. And as you said, we may yet be able to drive back the Emperor's reinforcements and win the day. Always think two steps ahead, my son. Be clever. Survive. That is the lesson I seek to impart. Oh. I had best go prepare for my final battle as Count Gloucester. However this plays out. Look for a way for our house to prosper and seize it, Lawrence. Seize it. That is how Urban Fritz Gloucester fights, and it is how you must fight as well. Well, we managed to slog our way to the encampment. Now we just have to finalize our plan. Why is it so important to hold part of the Aramid Riverbank again? I mean, wouldn't it make more sense to cross over into Alliance territory before it's too late? If we do, we risk the enemy cutting off our retreat. We are here to break their siege, not fall prey to one. If we don't conduct this rescue carefully, we'll be worse off than we started. We must be smart. And that means establishing at least one bridgehead in addition to the Great Bridge of Murden. Yeah, okay. That makes sense. The Minister is a general of much endurance. He will be holding out until we arrive. He is more than a warrior and a maker of strategies. It would lack wisdom to be making an enemy of him. Yep, that's my father. No one can beat him. I just hope I can be half the warrior he is one day. 
I think even one and a half Bergwieses would be more than enough. Not that it's any of my business. So, what are we to do about House Gloucester? They have indicated a willingness to swear fealty, for whatever that pittance of a promise is worth. That leaves only Phlegathon and Ordelia, and I doubt very much that anyone would take us to task for dismantling them. The head of House Ordelia is one of the five great lords. Dismantling them, as you say, would hamper Her Majesty's ability to rule effectively in the future. Consider, for example, why we chose not to dismantle House Iyer. Because I belong to House Iyer, and you did not have to. Ah, of course. You are happy so long as they install successors who are willing to toe the line. That is the plan, yes. House Phlegathon, however, must be disposed of. Oof. Their lord, Acheron, has leveraged his control of the Great Bridge to do whatever he well pleases. I have a suspicion the Alliance desires him gone as badly as we do. Lawrence Gloucester and Lysithia von Ordelia were Her Majesty's schoolmates, yes? They may be more willing to listen to reason than the others. Sure, but Claude went to the Officer's Academy too. And he's taken a firm stance against the Empire. Do you really think this can be handled via diplomacy? That will depend on precisely what their demands are. But first, we must retake the Great Bridge and extricate Count Burgles and his troops. Let us focus our energies on that for the time being. Agreed. And it would behoove us all not to overlook how devious Claude can be just because we went to the Academy together. If he's not willing to come to the table, I won't hesitate to meet him on the battlefield instead. I won't hold back either. Sometimes you have to kill old friends in this line of work. It's just how it is. Looks like I should have hesitated. Probably would have gotten points of like Dorothy or something. Anyway, what's up, YouTube? It is your Lord and Savior King the Free Five Free here. You know, episode of Let's Play Fire Emblem Free Hopes. In the last episode, we saved Lenato. In this episode, we prepare to. Pardon me. Hear the news, apparently. We prepare to, uh,. Save our men from Lawrence's family. What's up, Ferdy? Very nice. Research. Oh, is it the tactics thing? Yeah, tactics. Cool, cool. Here we research the latest and greatest in tactics ever to grace the field of battle. If our findings pique your interest, I would be delighted to assist you. How about it? At the Tactics Academy, you can embrace your you can enhance your unit's battle proficiencies. Spanish facility will unlock new avenues for improvement. Facility effects include unlocking additional warrior gauges, unlocking vulnerary slots, unlocking level up capabilities for unique abilities. My instruction comes at a high price. I'm sure it does. We can get another warrior gauge, which is very much loved. Let's switch to do everyone mode. Oh, I don't have enough money. Let's change that. Tactics are essential to any victory. I should keep them in mind as I prepare. Oh hey, looks like I'm not the first one to show up. Hello there. No need to pay me any mind. I'll just be absorbed in my book here. I assume you've come to meet someone? As they've clearly not arrived yet, why don't you join me? Here. I, uh, thanks. Uh, hey, Linhart, you're into all that spooky magic stuff, right? Like sorcery and crests and whatnot? Yes. Why? Is there something you'd like to ask me? 
Oh, no. I, I was just thinking it's kind of weird that you've never really been interested in my power. Do you want me to be? Yeah, I mean, I don't even understand it myself. But with you helping me, I might actually learn something. That and Hubert scared me half to death talking about how you might experiment on me. And just so we're clear, I'm not into that. Uh-huh. Well, not everything piques my interest. Your circumstances simply do not. If you're not interested, then so be it. But is there any particular reason why? Hard to say. Perhaps because a sword is the only thing you're able to manifest? Strictly speaking, I suppose your power does raise some questions. But that sinister weapon of yours, it just doesn't leave me all that interested in learning more. Sinister, huh? That's one way to describe it. Tell me, have you ever beheld one of the hero's relics? They also possess the most peculiar aura. And yet, there's something almost divine about the terror they instill. But your sword? It's cold. Maybe even inhuman. In more complex terms, it's little more than an inorganic, dispassionate construct. Not a hint of the goddess's divine guidance in its design. It's not as if you were able to choose what you manifested, right? It just came to you. True, but what if I could turn it into something else and start manifesting different things? Would you be interested then? Is such a thing possible? I would like to see that for myself, I must admit. In fact, I'd be quite excited by that. What a fascinating topic to lay at my feet. Hey, it was just a suggestion. I have no idea if I can actually do it. But aren't you the one who brought it up? I actually clicked the wrong option. I actually totally meant to bring him in, but I fucked it up. Oh well. Ooh. The OTP. At least my OTP. realized you'd return to the palace yes here I am not that I have official business like you then why come such a long way ah oh, I see you're here to visit your father I am ashamed to say this was my first time seeing him in his cell my father insisted I stay away for my own safety though I must confess the dungeon was not the horrid place I had imagined it to be. I was envisioning, you know, fiery hot pokers, spikes, that manner of thing. Oh, then it may interest you to know that we do actually have such a dungeon. I've only seen it once myself. It's further down from where we're keeping the former duke. It's a dismal place. One where rats scurry to and fro. Rats? I do not imagine Father would cope well with that at all. While he did look haggard, it sounds as though his treatment could be far, far worse. We're doing our best to keep him in good health. The rest will depend on his frame of mind. Well, you will hear no complaints from me. I care only that he is kept alive and given a fair trial, and that his punishment fits the crime, of course. You'd better speed things along then, because Hubert is quickly losing patience. A fact of which I am very well aware. The problem is that I remain unable to connect my father to many of the acts he is accused of. Perhaps you're wasting your time. A noble as powerful as your father could easily have documents forged and witnesses bought off. Any records that remain will be considered far too dubious to prove guilt or innocence. Then what the fuck are you gonna do? Another fact I am very much aware of. 
In truth, I already found proof some time ago. Proof of his corruption, that is. Oh? I discovered it while looking through his tax records. When I realized what he had done, I was ready to serve him up to the authorities myself. Your own father? I'm surprised to hear you say that. I mean it. I thought I could carefully build a solid case against him while studying at the academy. However, you had him clapped in irons before I could have my case organized. <laughs> now there is a bit of comedy. I idolized my father ever since I was a child. Yet I had to push those feelings aside in order to muster the anger to punish him. Now I find myself trapped between both of those emotions with no resolution in sight. I see. And tell me, is that the end of your story? I thought you were going to become Prime Minister. Keep me in line. Surpass me, even. Oh, uh, well... I did not mean... You can still share words with your father and see him punished for his crimes, you know. So, if you desire resolution, start resolving matters. It's never too late. <sighs> what occurred was truly regrettable. I should have seen through Count Glosser's duplicity. Or perhaps it's more accurate to say I misjudged a man's ambition. He praises his people above all, prizes his people above all, and we create a situation where he wanted to fight. I will need to reflect on that. If I may. Count Berkeley's is a beast of a man, and one with a keen sense for traps. Yet for him to be to not smell betrayal, well, I have little choice but to praise Count Gloucester's deception. We have to be careful, so if nobles don't tend to miss a step, and they don't leave themselves open, particu per particularly true in the case of those who possess experience and com really <laughs> and competency in equal measure, such as Count Gloucester. <laughs> I can't cut that out because in the middle of a sentence. For those of you wondering, why the hell I just said really? My fucking... <laughs> My, uh, monitor just fell on my head. <laughs> oh, God. Pardon me. Have you heard of a man named Dacaron? He is the head of House Flagathon, who rules over the Great Bridge of Murden. At first he pledged loyalty to Adrestia, but no sooner did the man hear about Count Glosser's actions than he did betray us and surrender the bridge. It takes quite the opportunity to change camps as easily as some change their clothes. Everyone keeps acting like he's some weather vane, but like, Gloucester's pulling the same shit and Ordelia pulls the same shit too. I understand there's a war in here, but we're all being worked like plow horses. Still, I suppose it can't be helped if our allies are in danger of annihilation. Is it would be a terrible waste of effort if we weren't able to assist them, so let's endeavor to ensure that we can do so. Absolutely. We'll give it everything we've got! Great. Oh. I know I don't have to worry about my father. I mean, he's Count Berkeley's. He's invincible! Still, nothing's guaranteed on the battlefield. And I can't shake the thoughts of what may happen. You sure? By the time we reach him, your father will probably have won the war by himself. Thanks for that. I really like to think. I try to think. I'll try to think positive. I can words. <gasps> She's outside. She's outside. For a second there, I thought she was hiding behind a tree, and I realized, wait, no, you dumbass, you were running around the tree. Oh, no. Am I gonna end up surrounded and killed in enemy territory like Count Berkeley someday? I wouldn't go carving his tombstone just yet. Sorry, you're right. 
But that's probably bad luck, huh? But I'm still worried! Don't worry. I'll make sure you never get surrounded like that. I've broken through plenty of seizures in my day. Really? I'm glad to hear that. Wow, my Bernie voice is way off. Oh! Oh! Bernie support! Bernie support! Bernie support! Bernie support! Bernie, 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 Bernie. Bernie! Yeah, and watch your back out there, okay? <laughs> sure glad I got you in my corner. Now then, just gotta... Oh. What are you hiding back there for, Bernadetta? <laughs> I, um... Who, who was that guy you were just talking to? Oh, that? Just a merc buddy of mine, asking if I had any jobs for him. Oh, he was a mercenary? But he looked like a bandit! Hey, come on now. You shouldn't assume the guy's a common criminal just because he looks rough around the edges. But, but, what about the way he talked? Oh, so scary! You'd sound like that too if you'd been a merc your whole life. Most of these guys didn't have a mom teaching them how to sound nice and proper like I did. Um, I see. I guess I don't really know you that well, but... Are all your friends like that? Is that too nosy? That's really nosy, huh? Oh yeah, whole gang's all pretty much the same. Guess that means you're not going into the merc business anytime soon, huh? Obviously not! No, no, no way, not happening! If I wasn't as shy as I am, I'd never be able to handle all those scary people at once. That sounds like your anxiety talking. You see there's nothing to be afraid of if you just gave them a fair shot. And, hey, isn't basing your opinion of strangers on their appearance just gonna make you feel worse? Uh, well, what else am I supposed to base my opinion on? Their actions? Their I words? Spend some time with them. If you ask me, the best place to judge someone's character is either on the battlefield or over the dinner table. I already told you I can't. Not me. Nope. Please, I need you to understand. I really don't get it. Is his appearance the only thing that's making you distrust him? There are plenty of guys out there who look just like that but have a heart of solid gold. Nicest folks you'll ever meet. By the same token, there are some real horrible people who cover it up with niceties and honeyed words. I fucking hate those people. people prey on others. My point is, judging a book by its cover will only get you in trouble. Trust me, you can't always tell who's good and who's bad from looks alone. What? Why are you trying to scare me? Nobody's tricking the iron heart of Bernie. Not today, not ever. Bullshit. Well, um, probably. Maybe. I'll be fine, I swear. No, you won't. Alright, so Bernie's the type to assume things about people based on looks. I look forward to Bernie thinking I'm a thug because I'm black. The error of his wit. Wow, you really do just see us as in the right and... There's no possible way our enemies can have any truth to their ideals, huh, Dorothea? Alright, then. That's not good. I don't think I like Dorothea's viewpoint on this. Yes. He can't die. I have to kill him. 
Do you have a moment? So basically... Mm -hmm. Yep, definitely saw the errors of his ways, not essentially a prisoner of war. Oh, wait! Fuck! I should have been reading this! <laughs> you appear to be a quite the excellent mercenary, my friend! Perhaps you'd be willing to help me with my exper- er, I mean, my battle preparations! Oh, why do I- even phrase it like a question when I know you won't refuse me. I'll call upon you later, so be prepared. Uh, do I get to choose? I don't think we do. God, where did I stop reading? Whatever. I guess you guys will live with me not reading all of them, right? Listen up. Psst. You may be aware of this already, but the Berts can be cruel. You mean Hubert? Yeah, but you know, it's fine. It's a long story. Plus, I owe him for that business under Garrick Mock. Let's see. Are you saying it's because you want me to complain to Hubert for you? Thanks. No, I'm fine. I appreciate it, though. Yay, we're friends, and now I can ask her on a date, but I won't. Hmm. Heal me, Mommy. Fodlin is completely growing tur 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 turbulous. During such times, it is unusual to see various schemes appear and try to turn their chaos to their own advantage. There are, ma any no there are a number of young generals in this army, so people like myself and Hanuman. Well, we have to be extra careful. Ah, don't worry, Manuel. I won't let anyone murder you to get ahead. I might make a video reading all of the um, files in the game at some point. Hanuman. Now see here. We were most artfully deceived by Cla Gloucester. The Count is Lorenz's father, you know. And Manuela is in charge of his class, the Golden Deer. It is undoubtedly depressing to have to fight one's former student. Oh, uh -huh. I think I'm going to play as Manuel on the next map. What? Hmm. Herm is close. Herm? Where have I heard that before? Not your business. But his husband decided that I am the house's scion. That reminds me. That's right, Herm is your last name. I merely forgot all about that. There is no need to remember. Oh, I guess Rudolph's little sister is always with him. Hmm. Could you spare a moment? My apologies, but por a portion of the responsibility for losing a Garrett in the Great Bridge of Murden falls to me. I was late in noticing that our communication had been cut off from Garrick Mock. When we fight to retake the bridge, I will assume the Vanguard and see my name cleared. Just don't kill yourself, please. Arvel. This is true. Circumstances dictate how people act. As such, I believe things are about to get much more difficult for you. Though, perhaps that will be a welcome change for a mercenary of your caliber. You'll undoubtedly face the Ashen Demon again. I do hope you emerge victorious this time. Which battlefield are you headed to? Occasionally, Anna's shop will appear on the war map. Anna will change locations each time you engage in a battle. Don't miss your chance to visit her shop. If you select a surveying spot where Anna is currently located in the war map, Anna will visit your camp and set up her shop there. 
for the duration of the current chapter. You can buy a rare and precious items from Anna's shop. Retreating Imperial forces were beset by bandits after after their supplies. Protect your allies and their supplies and cover them as they withdraw. For an intermediate seal if I get it perfectly, and an activity point if I don't. In condition, the Armor Knight and their allies reached the destination. Lose condition, the Armor Knight, the Mercenary, and the Pexus Knight are routed. Seven minutes to defeat 500 people with only 30% gone. They want to protect people, right? The armor knight's there. It's likely to be set by sword units. Let's send Ferdinand to protect it. The Pegasus is likely to be on set by... We'll have Bird Eye protect the mercenary. And I'll go protect no the Pegasus. All troops, full retreat. We can surmount any obstacle if we work together. Who's the one I'm protecting? Bottom left. Okay. I beg your assistance at once. Sorry, someone else is gonna protect you. Y'all still alive? Die, all of you. Well, I I didn't even realize we were getting these people in the fight, but I Where's the Pegasus? Did she stop moving because that thing was knocked into the battle? Thank you, Monica. You are doing great. Pegasus, you gonna move now? Why are you still fighting these guys? Leave! Oh my god, really? We have to go kill some nobody so that his Pegasus will move? Alright, now go! Pegasus, for the love of god! Leave! Pegasus, you're killing me. Me, stay with Pegasus. Maybe if I kill the others faster?
Yeah, maybe it's that I have to have all of their enemies cleared out. Maybe, like, they all have to move instead of one at a time moving? I'm not sure. A commoner? I hate being a mage so much. Okay, there we go. Oh god, I hate using you so much, Monica. We have enough people. All those we're protecting are good. So let's get the assault going on him. And I'm like right here. Oh god, I have... I can't heal though. Oh, good. Yo, Ferdinand, hold up. And my only character trait is saying my name. My resolve strengthens. Nice one. Aw, I should have broken this before I finished the fight. Oh well, because I was running circles. Getting out of fights alive is kinda my thing. You know, that's not a wrong statement. <laughs> I'm the only bandit that survived the fight against Byleth, after all. Or I guess Keo. Wait, you're useful? I will not stop until I achieve greatness. Got some gauntlets. Alright, well, that's it for this episode of Let's Play Fire Emblem Free Houses. Mm, free Houses. <laughs> that's it for this episode of Fire Emblem Free Hopes. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you feel I deserve it, you can donate to me at buymeacoffee.com slash kingd353. Every donation is appreciated, and for as low as a dollar, you can join my Discord. We can chat, play video games, share memes, just have a grand old time. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see all of you beautiful people later. This is YouTube.